What's up, warriors and warrants? I am back with another video. Before I get into the video, you guys, I want y'all to subscribe. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Hey, I got an idea. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Go ahead and hit that red button and hit that like button right now. Just boop boop. Just do it. You hear that noise? Boop boop. Just hit it. Just like that. Turn that, that like button blue. And when you hit the subscribe button, it's going to be a little bell on side of it. Just go ahead and smash that too so you won't miss another video. Become a part of the notification family. And so this video, I'm going to get right into the video. This video is a little bit different, you guys. It's about love. It's about love. And, um... I can only talk about me, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give y'all some things. There's 10 ways that you will know that you're in love or you're involved in love. It's 10, it's 10 things you will know. I mean, I mean, you know, so we just gonna get right into the video. Okay, so if you ever been in love before, this, this, you might, this might hit you right at home. So let's get into it, okay? Number one, the best part of your day. When you in love, the person that you're in love with makes your day. It's like, if you having a bad day, they they lift it. They lift that day. It's like they the best part. You, that special person could. If you having a good day, they can make it better when you see them. You know what I'm saying? I had that before with my you know with my ex husband when I was in love. You know I had that before. So you know you get butterflies. You get so excited. You know when you finna see them and stuff. So yeah. Number one, if you you think if you don't know if you're in love, the first one, the first step is. They, the best part of your day. They are the best part of your day. Number two, the first person you think about. They'll be the first person you think about when you rise and the last person you think about when you fall asleep. And when you fall asleep, you be falling asleep thinking like, oh, I can't wait till I get up tomorrow so I can go see that person. So, is you be really anxious to just be in their company. Number three, their needs come first. When I was in a marriage, you know, for 19 years, I was very, very much so in love with my ex-husband and, um... I used to always do little things like, you know, give him his favorite candy or put stuff on his pillow, you know, you know, you know, kind of like dinners, just anything that'll put a smile on his face and whatever he needed, you know what I'm saying? I always thought of him first. When I got paid and I went shopping, I always, when I was going in and intended to get something from me, but when I saw something I knew he would like, I hurry up and picked it up. So their needs come first when you're in love and you'll know if you're in love and you're doing that, if you don't know and that's what you're doing, then these are signs to let you know you are. So here we go. Number four, you will do anything for that person. When you is in love with a person, you will do anything to make them happy. Like I just said, they needs to come first. You do whatever you can to make them happy. Number five, you uh, you're never you're never afraid to express your love or show your love. You're never afraid to show your feelings, express your feelings, and show love in public places. You know, some people have these girlfriends and I mean these boyfriends and girlfriends. Some of them don't want to even kiss you in public and. But why not? I mean, if you when you're in love with somebody, you don't care about that. You want everybody to know. You feel what I'm saying? Everybody need to know about this love. <laughs> Number six, you love their imperfections. It's like I, I don't care. I can I, your toe is on another toe. You know, they like this. But it's okay because it's my toe. You understand what I'm saying? I love that your toes is overlap because you love me. It's all about the love. You know what I'm saying? So you love their imperfections no matter what. She might be loud. She might be a little bossy. He might be a little controlling. But you love it. You know what I'm saying? Because it balances y'all out. You know what I'm saying? It's just a puzzle that fits together. So number seven. You think long term. When you are in love with somebody, you don't want them to just stay at the same level. You always think about, okay, so... I think I want to be married. I want to have kids. And so do that person. The man too, whether it's a woman or a girl, a boy. I mean, a woman or a male. They all think long term. And they can't picture their life in the future without that person in it. You feel what I'm saying? It's like, so when you're in love, long term automatically comes like, okay, we're going to get married. We're going to make a family. We're going to, you know. It's, and, and marriage is the top level to anybody that's in love with a person. They're going to want to move to that next step. Okay, number eight, uh, you become a better person. I know when I was out there, you know, doing my own thing before I actually got with my husband and, you know, I was, you know, you know, you know, running the streets and, you know, being a little, uh, a little uh, devious at times, you know, had a lot of player cards, you know, but when I got with him, it was like, all that stuff. he was my, he was all I saw, like, seriously, that was it. So when you 
get with somebody and you're in love, they do make you a better person. They make you change for the better. And even if it's something wrong there, you'll be willing to fix it. I mean, you're willing to fix it when you're in love with somebody. Okay, number nine, your feelings are unconditional. You could just been had an argument with them, and then somebody walk up and say something to them, and then you flip on them because guess what? That's still my bae. You feel what I'm saying? That's still my boo. I still love him. So your feelings is unconditional. They don't change. But of course, they got to be, you know, both ways, you know. But I'm saying when you're in love with somebody, I know when I'm in love with somebody, I can't talk for me. When I was in love with somebody, it was very unconditional. I mean, I love hard. I don't know about other folks, but I love very hard. So, yeah. When you're in love, your feelings are unconditional. And number 10, the very last one, the very, very last one, y'all. Number 10, say your love is, he is your, your love is your best friend. The person that you are in love with, I know that sounds cliche, but it's true. They become your partner in crime. They become your ride or die. They become, you know, your friend that you could talk to and stuff like that. And you want to spend all your time with them. They becomes that, that other part of you. You feel what I'm saying? Like, we together we can we can we can take the world you know so if any one of these things y'all doing or all of them you in love boo you in love and if you are i say congratulations and i pray that you are getting that same love in return and i know some of my sisters and some of my warriors out there are getting that and that same love and i just bless y'all so uh I, this was the 10 things the 10 ways to know that you're in love or falling in love you guys i hope y'all enjoyed this video it was something a little different but i wanted to just share with you all so to all my godly warriors out there i salute you may you continue to walk in promise the promise that god have for your life and i will see y'all later bye bye